It's Christmas. And this is a terrible Santa hat. This is just like a normal bobble hat in Santa colors. The only other thing that I have is, well, this. Ah, and this doesn't have a really good Santa hat either. What am I supposed to do? You know what? I think this is fine. <laughs> yeah, Christmas is soon. Christmas in literally like four days. I almost completely forgot about it. So here's a Christmas video. And today I'm going to be answering the question on everyone's lips at Christmas. Who killed Santa? Apparently he died. And we're going to try and find out who did this thanks to seven second riddles. That's right. Hold on. I just realized how ridiculous this looks. Can I at least show a little bit of hair? Am I, am I looking good yet? I'm not ever going to look good in this. Santa was looking forward to homemade walnut cookies. Look at them. Delicious. Look at him licking his lips. It's kind of freaky, actually. He had to eat them outside. Why? Because Mrs. Claus was allergic to all types of nuts. Mr. Claus, you can't just eat walnut cookies outside and this solves the issue. You're still going to be... You're still gonna be breathing them on her. This, this can't happen. Look at her poor face. But when he looked into his sack, where is this going? He saw that all the cookies were gone. <gasps> what? Santa got the suspects in the stable. Oh, geez, these guys. Where's Rudolph? Vixen, are you, are you masquerading as Rudolph? I thought Rudolph was the only one with the red nose. What, what is going on here? This whole situation is fishy. Nutty, whatever you want to call it. Who ate my cookies? Is this what we're going to have to figure out now? I was making peppermint swells of Mrs. Claus. Okay, you don't have hands, but fine. I was keeping an eye on the plum pudding. Okay. I was making peanut butter with Mrs. Claus. Liar! You're a liar. I already know it's Prancer. Are you stupid? Prancer is supposed to have been in this family, in the Claus family, for generations. Hundreds of thousands of years. And he couldn't come up with a, an excuse that didn't include Mrs. Claus's pretty fatal allergy. Idiot. Send Prancer to jail. Go and bring, bring Rudolph back. Come on. Who was lying? It was Prancer. Vixen. I didn't even look at Vixen's because I know it's Prancer. <laughs> making peanut butter. What? Shock. He said that he was making peanut butter, but she's allergic. Unless Prancer was up to something a little bit more dangerous. Keep your eye on this one. Look at his eyes. Keep an eye on this little reindeer. Next Christmas riddle, please. The police were called to an accident site. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a stereotypical police officer. <laughs> Donut the size of his head. Coffee the size of his leg. The situation is rather tragic right now. Santa's looking pretty pleased with himself. What on earth happened here? They found Santa and his broken sleigh on the sidelines. We can see that. The Grinch rushed right in front of me and scared my deers. They're reindeers, Santa. Come on. I lost control of them and hit the tree. He really steals Christmas. What? The Grinch is real. Watch out. Here are the tire tracks. Let's follow him. What am I doing? What, what am I doing? This is the best Christmas video idea that I could come up with. <laughs> yes. There they go. Just gonna leave the deers, wild animals at the side of the road. There he is! Ew. The Grinch is in a car. What? I've seen your crash just in front of me. <laughs> That's the Grinch? What happened to him? He's got no hair left. I thought the Grinch was hairy. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. And frankly, I was delighted that you crashed, but this time it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Who is lying? Wait. Uh, I think Santa's lying. I hate to say it, but his tracks go over the top of Grinch's, right? The Grinch's tracks are under the Santa so- Oh, Grinch is lying. Why is Grinch lying? I can't believe I doubted Santa. I don't deserve to wear this suit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Why is this the case? Hold on a second. He couldn't drive past after the... Oh, I see. Yep. Sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Sorry, Santa, for doubting you, okay? Oh, here we go. The gift shop. This looks nice and Christmassy. Oh, wait. Hold on. Suddenly, the director of the store put a call from the police. Oh, my word. And they said there was a string of burglaries in gift shops. Hold up. Wait, hold on. Am I going to have to censor this? YouTube, do I need to censor this? Look at the size of that gun. And I don't know about you, but look, I think a Santa did this. The evidence is clear. They figured out the shop could be next. <laughs> Why is the gun so big? 
The burglar wore a Santa suit and apparently something across his eyes, which makes it so obvious. Everybody stay where you are! Look at these Santas. The guy on the right is causing me some suspicion, as is the rabbit, the toy rabbit. What is that? You don't want to give that to a child at Christmas. That seems mean, actually. <laughs> Imagine unwrapping that, being like, oh, th thank you. Thank you, I guess. There is a criminal among you, and I will find out who it is. Let's see here, shall we? Who is the thief? Am I looking? I'm looking in their bags. Uh, this is a tough one. Hold on a second. I wasn't paying too much attention. I'm going left. The present. He's got the gun in the present. His shoes are different. <laughs> Did you see the way the bag popped open then? Wait, what? <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah. And there's the gun. <laughs> okay, that was actually a tricky one. I didn't spot his feet. I thought this Santa was just more prepared than the other Santas. Right, arrest him instantly. Oh, what a terrible crime. This is it. Santa's dead. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is the crime we have all tuned in for. Who could possibly have killed Santa? Someone killed Santa on Christmas Eve. Let's look at the clues. He's got very small feet. I'm very focused on his feet right now. It happened at the Smith house. Detective Grinch. Detective Grinch? Am I going to be suspicious of Detective Grinch now because of his name? Regardless, he arrived at the spot immediately and questioned the family members. Mmm! Which one of you is a killer, huh? Lisa was on the phone with her boyfriend. Okay, seems like a reasonable excuse. I was making cookies. Julie, I'm looking at you. What was the ingredient to those cookies? I was watching news on TV. But wasn't he lying near the TV? Ian, I'm suspicious of you as well. We were already sleeping to wake up early. Fair enough, twins. I would have been too. I think it's got to be the cookie lady, right? Julie! Julie, why would you kill Santa like this? There's no TV in sight, but I see them cookies in that green tub. Don't know if he's eaten any, but I think it's Julie. She's poisoned him. It was Julie. Cookies for Santa are here. And also in here. Circle his belly. They're in there too. That's why he died. So Santa, if you're out there, or if you're one of the many Santas like me, or the ones in that gift shop from earlier, be careful. Sniff the cookie first. Maybe don't eat the cookies. Just pretend you ate them, threw them out the window. Be careful out there. Not everyone likes Santa, you know. But you should like Santa. He brings you things for free. <laughs> I can't believe she's done this. Lock her away! Did Julie bring them after she saw the dead Santa? Oh, you've thrown a curveball in here. Why did you ask that? So are you trying to say, are you trying to say that someone else did it? Is that what they're saying? I'm, I'm so confused. Julie did it. <laughs> if I was a judge, case closed. Santa came home earlier. From where? Where have you been, Santa Claus? And saw one of the elves dead on the floor. Why do these all involve some kind of death, huh? This is a tragedy, though. First Santa, now the elves. Santa somehow come back to life and found a dead elf. This is all very confusing. What happened? <laughs> yeah, you. Prime suspect. There were only you two in the house. Oh, this is not looking good for you, is it, buddy? At all. We were packing the gifts and decided to have a coffee break. He loved black coffee with cookies. You know the cookies. It was Julie. Did you get, did you buy these from Julie? Suddenly I heard shouts outside. It was Julie, wasn't it? Selling her cookies and ran outside to see what was going on there. A bittersweet distraction. I spent about 20 minutes there and returned back home. That seems like a long time. When I came back, he was already dead. Okay, I'm seeing green and red mugs. You're lying! I knew you were planning something bad. Sa Santa, come on, buddy. I guess he has the naughty and nice list. It looks like this little elf right here is going to be fired and is on the naughty list and is going to prison. It's not a good day for him. How did Santa guess he was lying? I'm going to say because the coffee hasn't been drunk. There's some proper steamage going on there. So I'm going to guess that's why. And for some reason, he knew he was scheming this all along. There it is. The cups are still hot. He killed his friend and staged the scene. He did it in a pretty clean way, actually. It was Christmas Eve in Canada. The passengers were waiting for the plane to the USA. Everybody stay where you are. Oh, not again. We've had some reports. Oh my goodness. These Santas are so corrupt. I am never going to look a Santa square in the face again. Not that I do that often, to be honest. But now I'm going to be suspicious of these Santa Clauses. Who's been, who's been naughty here, huh? We have to recheck your luggage. Oh, she looks angry. Santa number one. He's got some pants, his top, and some keys. And, oh, wait, I thought that was like a face cam of the security person. I think that's Mrs. Klaus, right? Santa number two, she's still livid. Look at her. Santa number two's got hot chocolate, 
toothpaste, a very strange looking reindeer, and a change of clothes. Not too suspicious. We've got two more Santas to look at. He looks evil. He looks very evil. Shaving cream, a rubber tube, and some other stuff. That's either that's a bullet or a flask. I'm not quite sure. And a picture of two random people. What's that about? Shaving. Wait, wait, wait. Shaving cream. Hold on. When I'm looking at this again, shaving cream is pretty suspicious, actually. Santa doesn't shave. I, mean, I think the shaving cream is suspicious. Number four. He looks like a legit Santa. Look how rosy he is. He's got cash money, keys, socks, and a change of clothes. Cash money could be suspicious as well. Hmm. Who looks suspicious? It's either number three or number four. But actually, all of them are fine, right? <laughs> It depends. I'm saying Santa number three. Why would you have a picture of two randoms in there, huh? Let's see what it is. I think Santa number... Yeah, it is. He's got shaving cream in his bag. I told you. What for if Santa never shaves? Um, I think that's the point I was trying to get at. Anyway, I got it right. Send him to prison. I could just imagine in prison right now, there's just like a lineup of Santas for all of this wrongdoing. Wait, this doesn't even solve that issue. There's no drugs in any of these guys' bags at all. I'm, I'm shaving cream isn't a drug as I know of you shouldn't eat it, but I think that's okay Poor Santa number three right last one which present would you open? I'm gonna go for present number One, I don't know why it looks the biggest you lack self-confidence Don't be afraid to try something new. Wait a second. You're getting this from me picking an image on the screen That's the one I picked wasn't it? <laughs> I lack self-confidence. No, I don't why is this video trying to upset me four days before Christmas, huh? This is the real last one. It's a wonderful time before Christmas. Look how beautiful that is. But a gang of robbers has been operating. Is it the Santas again? Have they been out in the city for already a week? Some of the English in these videos is very strange, but I'm not going to judge it. They are all dressed in Santa Claus suits. Uh, it wasn't me, I promise. They break into houses through the chimneys. The robbers break into houses. Oh my goodness, that guy is in for a burnt behind. Look at this. He's breaking into the chimney straight onto an open flame. Idiot. Pack the valuables in their bags and walk right out the door. Okay, simple. When neighbors see them, they think it's the real Santa. <laughs> they're, they're not like, wait, Santa. Santa buddy, why are you taking my TV? You're supposed to leave new things, not take old things. Anyway, bye, Santa. <laughs> and they don't suspect anything. Okay, good strategy from the burglars here. Finally, the police caught the entire gang on Christmas Eve. Look at these Santas. Oh my goodness. However, one of them claims that he is the real Santa. Detective Johnson once saw real Santa as a child. He looks like a Minecraft villager. Look at that nose. Oh, your par one of your parents has to be a Minecraft villager for sure. I remember him well. He was of medium height. He was wearing a coat with six buttons. And there was a pocket on the right. Six buttons, pocket on the right, medium height. His belt buckle was square, I believe. Six buttons, pocket on the right. On his right or your right? Oh, jeez. Santa number... Two! Yes! Is he actually real, though? He looks a little bit weird. Guys, we have done it. We have put Julie in prison for killing Santa Claus. But don't worry, there are plenty of Santas out there. Granted, some of them are robbing your houses. <laughs> no, I, I, honestly, they're not robbing your houses. There's only one real Santa. He's not dead. He's out there delivering presents soon. He's got a lot of work to do. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are brand spanking new by hitting that big red subscribe button. Very festive just below the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to go and rob a house of Santa. Bye. I'm not really, I'm not really going to rob a house. That was a joke. Swing wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.